What is up? Today is September 15th, and it is opening night of Horror Nights. I'm so excited. I'm here with Taylor today. I'm always here. It's so not always here. I don't know what that was. Anyways, I'm really excited. I think my most anticipated house for tonight is the Saw House. Okay then. I'm gonna get in for stay and scream, and I could get to see them like set up and stuff, and I get to go through a house. And um, I don't know what house yet though. I'm gonna be over by Finnegan, so I think it's gonna be Dead Waters. But we'll see. They have the things up. I guess you call them signs. I forgot what they were called. Going in through the entrance of Blue Man Group, so that I can go do skip, stay and scream. Basically, they have like these like areas that like if you have a park ticket and a Halloween Horror Nights ticket you can go and sign in and you get to watch everyone set up for the scare zones and you get to go in a house before everyone else gets into the park. Before Horror Nights starts, let's ride the mummy. I'm in Stay and Scream and they gave me my map. <laughs> Setting up the zones. Good to see you at night guys. Going into The Shining. Going in. I just got out of The Shining, it was so good. I think we're gonna go into dead waters. Don't stand for too long. Call out the sugar in the streets. Starbucks and Horror Nights. Perfect mix. <laughs> oh my god, I love the clowns already. So I'm meeting someone later today, and I'm trying to not go through all the houses, but I'm really excited for Ashes of the Evil Dead, so I'm probably gonna go through that one right now. Almost there. By the way, the cash change is coming up behind us. That was fun. It was a lot of fun. So it wasn't as scary as The Shining, but I might like that house better than The Shining just because I like the TV show. Going into Trick or Treat.
going into Festival of the Deadliest. This is one of the darker zones. What, did you think we were going to a house? No, no, I knew it was a square zone. Oh, wow. Dang. This sounds cool. My phone probably can't see anything, it's probably too dark. Right there in the middle of the screen, Dylan Dragon without missing track. I know you can't see because it's so dark, but we're about to do Blumhouse. Saw so was awesome. First night of Horror Nights is a success, it was great. That's why you don't leave your hazards on. If you park them preferred, your car battery will die. It happened to me before, too. Okay, I'm back. It's like 2.40 in the morning now. I'm so tired. I just can't walk anymore. I walked so much today. Um, a quick, like, sort of overview of my houses, like, my favorites and stuff. I didn't get to go through all of them. I didn't get to go through Deadwaters or American Horror Story. I'll do that next time. But... The ones I did get to go through were awesome. I think so far my favorite original has been the Scarecrow one. My favorite IP might be Saw, maybe. <laughs> if I was gonna like, if I was gonna like give like a star rating or something, so far I would say The Fallen was a great. It's a great original house. I'd probably give that a three out of five. Saw I'd probably give a good four out of five. Same with The Shining. The Shining was a lot scarier than I thought it was going to be. The Hive was a very, very big disappointment for me. It just, I didn't like it really that much at all. I'd probably give it 2 out of 5. Ash vs. the Evil Dead. That was so good. I definitely have to give that a 4 out of 5. I love that TV show as well. Blumhouse was interesting. I both loved it and was kind of like, really? Like, it says it's a mixture of Sinister, The Purge, and insidious i'd say it's probably about 85 percent insidious <laughs> and everything else is the other two properties it's like two rooms of sinister in a hallway like one room of the purge and then a hallway and then the whole rest is insidious i was like wow this like you already have the purge in one scare zone and you have a couple people from the purge in another scare zone like you, you could have not done the purge at all and it, the house would have been like i don't even like the same pretty much i did get to go through all the scare zones though um, if I had to rank them from top to bottom, I would say Trick or Treat is my favorite so far. Invasion is right under that. Um, Festival of the Deadliest. Everything looks so cool. That's going to have to be number three so far. My fourth favorite might be The Purge, even though I'm kind of bored of The Purge and everything. I wish I would do something cooler. The New York section last year, that scare zone was awesome. This year, it's okay for that side. And then Altars of Horror, because I didn't really get to go in it that much. And it's mainly just like a photo op. It's not really a scare zone. I saw Bill and Ted, too. It was awesome. This is their last year being here, which is kind of sad, but I'm excited to see what is new that they're going to bring. Now, so this is the only the first weekend, so like, I know the houses are going to get better. Like, the scare actors are going to have more practice. So as the event goes on, you might see me changing around the order of my houses so far. I think so far my favorite has to be, it's either, it's like a mixture of either The Shining or Ash vs. The Evil Dead. I don't know. We'll see. But I... Oh, I really hope the American Horror Story is good because I loved that house last year. And I just didn't get to go in it today. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'll have a lot more Halloween Horror Night content coming up soon. So look forward to that. Thank you so much.